Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to show you um, how to disable bill locker and disable and and enable and enable bit locker during the um, in place upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10. So I receive a lot of questions from um, the uh, the viewers. So what you need to do if you're using BitLocker in your environment during the in-place upgrade, you need to disable BitLocker and then enable after Windows 10 install. So I have my test sequence here. I'm going to click on edit. So what I need to do here, I'm going to add disable BitLocker. I'm going to put it somewhere here um, under prepare for upgrade. Click on add and it should be under this. Disable BitLocker. I have BitLocker enable on C or you can choose current operating system. If you have the operating system on D, you can just leave it by default or you can change it I'm gonna leave it as default I'm gonna put this at the oops I'm gonna put this at the root All right, so there it is. Disable bit locker. And it's going, the next step is going to do the operating system upgrade. After the restart, actually I'm going to, um, I'm going to put us after the um, apply settings and drivers. So click on add this enable bit locker. I'm going to move it. Oh, it's already there. So okay, I'm gonna move it here at the end. So move it down. Enable bit locker. Current operating system. Current operating system drive. TP on. TP only. I'm going to choose default and choose where to get recovery key. I'm going to put the Active Directory and click apply. So this process will check all the prerequisites. And then it's going to disable BitLocker. Once it disabled, it's going to start apply the operating system. Once that finished, it's going to restart and apply all the settings here. And at the end, it's going to enable BitLocker. That's it. That's how you disable. That's how you disable and ena enable BitLocker during the Windows 7 and Windows 10 in-place upgrade. Thank you for watching and have a great day.